Okay, what we're going to do today is talk about the locking mechanism on the Champion Safe. We're going to talk about how it, when it's delivered, what you should do and how to properly unlock your safe so that you don't lock yourself out. First of all, you need to know that the combination on this safe is set in the factory and it should not be changed. This, this is on the system, the confidential system in the factory and the combination is set there so that we can help you if you have any future problems. When you get your safe, if the installer is there, most installers can help you get in and answer a lot of questions, but if you are installing a safe yourself, you'll notice that this, the dial is locked. And the dial is locked in the zero position. And that's so that you can get in quickly as the customer. Within your packet, you'll find a key to the safe. And uh, what you simply do, the first thing you would do is the packet is usually hanging from the hub. And uh, you would then take your key and with the teeth, the, the teeth down, I always tell the, my customers, it's three rights to get in. There's three things you have to do to the right to get in. Hold the dial, turn the key to the right, the dial to the right, the handle to the right. Remember, the handles will be inside, so you have to put them on later. Once you do that, the door will open, but you notice that you cannot extend the pins so what you've got to do now is to attempt to put the safe, and the safe is in the lock position. You want, to, you want to try to get the lock to work, make sure the lock works before you actually uh, lock it up because it could have shifted in transit. The locks could have changed a little bit and, and coming across the country or whatever. And so there's a little detent button here. And it's this little button right here you can see. You push that in with one hand, and then pull down the hub on the other, you actually extend the pins. The other pins are coming out then. Okay, now with the pins out, with the pins out, what you want to do now is to release your key, take your key out, and turn the dial to the left. Make sure the hub's all the way over. It has to be all the way over before the lock will drop. So now what we've done is we've actually locked the safe with the door open. And the reason for that is, is that you need to open the lock mechanism. You need to try your combination while the door is open in the lock position so you make sure that when you do close it and lock it, you can get in. So now, if you forget, you need to forget that everything was to the right, now everything goes to the left from this point. And you don't want to let that door close too much or these pins will actually hit the side of the safe. So you have to stand back a little bit and keep the door open. So the door, the, pin, the pins are in a locked position. The dial is freely turning. And so now you want to get into your packet and get your combination. And here, here is the packet. And in, in here is the combination for this safe. It'll be, it'll be written there on the inside cover of your owner's manual. So I'm gonna open this safe now, going to the left at least four times and stopping on my first number. It's a four, three, two, one sequence in the combination. So I've just gone around four times, stopped on the first number. That's going around to the left. Now I will go to the right and stop on the second number the third time I see it. Okay, and the third number I will stop, I will go the other direction and stop on it the second time I see it. Now to open the safe, I continually go the other direction now until it starts, here it's tightening up at about 94 degrees, and I keep turning it, and this safe will open at about 84 degrees. What I do on my own personal safe is, 
Once I have locked the safe, I have shut, I've shut the door, I've extended the pins, and I have turned the dial, I always check it by pulling on it, the safe is locked, then I think the safest thing to do is take your key and simply then lock this into the zero position. And the reason for this is if children are playing with this or if someone were to get your combination, they could not open the lock without unlocking the dial. So what we do now then, if you wanted to get into your safe, you would take the key and simply unlock your dial, start to the left, and work your combination. If, if you have a problem or issues with your lock, don't be hesitant to call. But first of all, I would suggest that you do a thorough reading of just the customer manual, the owner's manual. There's a lot of uh, questions in there that can be answered by, by reading this. The, some of the problems that come in opening the safe is Sometimes things will fall down if you have it really loaded in your safe. Sometimes things will fall down and your pins will not be able to extend. If the pins cannot extend, you cannot shut the door and lock the safe. Uh, the second thing is in locking a safe uh, is just making sure the sequence is correct. Uh, and, and making sure you go to the left left four times, right three times, left two times, right once open, and that. And then you never have to lock it unless you want to. I tell customers, this is an added security. A lot of times children will come and just play with the safe, show their friends, and turning that, turning that is what eventually in time wears out those discs. So the less, the less turning in there is probably the better. That's one of the reasons I lock my safe every day as I get into it. Um, other, other problems that, that you'll find uh, is just simply making sure the door closes properly, the pins are properly extended. They have to be all the way extended. Sometimes the, the handle might be hanging up a little bit to the right and the, and the lock mechanism will not drop. If so, you just have to make sure it's all the way to the left and then turn your handle. Those are about the biggest problems that I found in, in any kind of a lock issue. These are very good locks, they're very accurate, they're very dependable, they will last a long time if they're treated properly. But once again, if there's any question at all, don't be afraid to call our customer service here at Champion Safe.